Hello everybody, my name is Bear Cozy, and today we're playing some Awakened Chaos Era. If you're just joining me for the first time, I strive to make entertaining and educational videos. I have also been doing play-along videos through the Mythic Adventure. We've been going through together and experiencing it together. So whether you're ahead of me or whether you're not quite yet caught up, hopefully these videos are not only entertaining, but also educational. I have really good news. I have just hit Plat Arena with my team of 260s and 250s, which is very, very exciting for me. This is my defense team. My defense team is the same as my offense team. And you can see I'm currently using Virgil, Connor, Nathalia, and Zalux. That is their turn order, and that is exactly how I got to Plat Arena. So that is my good news for today. I'm very excited. I'm gonna continue climbing an arena, doing some more battles and earning some more badges. Going back, as you can see, we are on clear chapter six of Mythic. So far, we have managed to go through together. We've cleared chapters one, two, three, four, got stuck on four twice. And then I did some work off camera, farmed some scrolls, upgraded some gear, as well as some skills, and we managed to get through chapter five very, very easily, no problems at all. So today we're gonna be working through chapter six of Mythic together, which is very exciting. But first, we need to do our free daily summons. Come on over here to do the free daily summons. I like to record these. I did get a second copy of Connor and I've actually gotten a few copies of Connor, and I did get myself a Gangalo, which I have not leveled, and that was all from the free summon. So I like to do these on camera. Let's pop it and see what we get here. And we got, oh, we actually got Charles. Charles is actually a really, really good hero, and I'm excited to work on him. That might be my first or my second copy, but that is actually really cool, so I'm very happy there. Charles is actually a really, really good hero. He is a defense-based hero, which makes him really tanky. So stacking him with a bunch of defense will help the survivability. He does bring taunt on his basic ability. He builds rage on his passive, and then he unloads that rage on his ultimate. He deals 80% damage to an enemy and grants a shield for two turns. And the strength of that shield scales based on the character's defense. And you can see that is not upgraded and if we upgrade him, he deals more damage and the cooldown gets reduced. So I'm very excited to work on him. He should be a very nice addition to my roster. And now that we got that summons out of the way and we got ourselves Charles, it's time to work on chapter six. Going into chapter six, I am gonna be using Connor, Zalux, Nathalia, and William. As you can see, Connor and William are level 50. And actually, before I do that, there's something we need to do. Connor is actually ready to be upgraded to Glyph level four. So let's go ahead and do that. That should be cool. There he goes. We're increasing our base stats, which is awesome. Let's take a look at here. We got a resistance ready. So we definitely have some things to work on. I've been doing some work on camera as well on William, and you can see William is ready to be upgraded. So let's go ahead and do that as well. I got all of the scrolls. They did take some time, but as you can see, his base stats are increasing, and I've been really, really liking William. William works really well for me. I also finished off upgrading his last ability, which is gonna help out a lot. That does bring the cooldown to four turns, and it brings the damage up as well. So now that his Glyph level is maxed out, he is now a Saint Prophet, which is awesome. Let's get into chapter six. Getting into chapter six, we got William, Connor, Nathalia and Zalux. Of course, William's gonna use his ultimate with that defense down. Nathalia is gonna do her damage and Zalux is gonna clean them up, which is very, very cool. Now, since I've just promoted Connor and upgraded his glyphs, it looks like Connor is actually going first, which is okay. William used to go first, which is not a big deal. We can still use them in that rotation. I did do a lot of work in the previous videos to get the turn order correct so I can have the correct synergy with my team. Moving on to wave three, William is gonna do his thing. Connor is gonna do the buffs, which is gonna work really well with Nathalia. There goes Connor with the AOE, getting the defense down. Nathalia has got a ton of buffs on her, so that should help a lot. 
I am looking for a second copy of Nathalia because her trait will actually allow her to do more damage with those buffs. I do have one Soul of Arcana that I've been saving and I haven't felt the need to use it just yet. I want to hang on to it. I'm also working really hard on my arena battles to get Zalux. Zalux is coming along very, very nice. That is going to be my second copy and I'm looking forward to making my main Zatlux stronger. You can see we actually got a bunch of nice rewards here. We got a level four scroll, which is nice. We got a level three scroll and we got a couple of level one scrolls as a bonus. We also have some jelly as a first time clear and we got ourselves some nice five star boots with a main stat of defense and unfortunately the secondary stat is flat defense but these boots actually might be good for Charles depending on how fast we need him to go. I'm going to go ahead and turn my bonus on what's left of it. I have 52 minutes left so hopefully we can clear chapter 6 together so I can earn some extra jelly. Starting chapter 6 stage 2, Connor's going to do his thing. William's going to go in with that ultimate, mow them over. He doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but the, the skill is actually fun to watch. He's also not a damage dealer. That's what we have Nathalia and Zalux for. And Nathalia, you can see she's actually doing good damage. And whoever is left standing, Zalux should clean up and we should continue moving forward. Now, in some of my previous videos, I've experimented with the turn order. And I had Zatlux going before Nathalia. Nathalia was actually going last. That was, of course, due to the lack of gear. I was forced to use what I had. Since then, I made the decision to make Nathalia go third and make Zatlux go last because of his AoE, because of his uh, ultimate ability. So that's actually been working out really, really nice. And you can see there, he does good work, even though the enemies don't have defense down. They do have two Holland's enemies, which is not ideal that disables all our healing. So I would prefer to go ahead and kill Hollins in the back. That way our team can actually get the heals that they need. So let's go ahead and do that. Nathalia is just going to do her thing. Zatlux is going to kill one of them, kill two of them. And just like that, stage two is down. We do get a ton of jelly. We got 14,000 jelly as a first time clear. We actually get another 10,000 for our bonus and a bunch of scrolls. So this looks to me like a really good chapter to farm glyphs. 6-2 is down. We are moving on to 6-3. If you're getting stuck anywhere along the point, let me know in the comments below. I'm curious to see what chapters you got stuck on, what stages, and if you use the support hero, I'm curious as to which support hero you used. So far, we are making really good progress with our team. We are on chapter six, stage three, and we, we only have two level 50s and we're actually doing okay. I know Connor's gear is not very good. Most of it is only leveled a couple of times, but Nathalia does have some 12 star and some 15 star gear. Zatlux, most of his gear is about level 12 as well. So he has a lot of work that can be done there. And I'm actually waiting for a gear leveling event. Hey, you're still watching the video. That means you're enjoying the content. And if you're enjoying the content, that means somebody else will also. Click the subscribe button below and help this video reach more people so they can enjoy it as well. Right now, the event is going on to acquire gear, which is what I've been doing. Um, it's twofold for me. I'm farming scrolls and I'm actually working on acquiring more gear. That should give me the much needed rewards from the event. And then, of course, after this event is over, we should have a gear leveling event, which is going to be really, really nice. I can roll some gear. Hopefully, I can get some better gear as well and get my heroes from four star to five star gear. Moving right along to six four, we do have a boss, which I believe is Sierra. So we're going to see how we do here. And I'm actually going to take the same team for spells. I've been debating on taking out Sundering Purgatory, maybe replacing it with the Shield of Mercy. But it seems like we are making good progress and William actually only has 22% focus, which means that he doesn't always land his defense down. So I like having Sundering Purgatory. It's been working really well. Going into 6-4, now that we've actually upgraded some of Connor's glyphs, he is actually going first before William, which is okay because he actually does Sundering Purgatory, and then William comes in with his ultimate, which also applies Sundering Purgatory. 
but it should do more damage now that Connor puts it up first. So that is actually not too bad. Previously, I had William go in first, and he would actually overlap the defense down, which was okay. I really didn't feel like manualing it to stagger the defense down debuffs. It has been working well so far, and you can see our team is synergizing really, really well. So that, I, I think the synergy is what's carrying us through this far. Now, moving on to Sierra, William is gonna do his ultimate. Hopefully we can land defense down on her, and we do get it on her. Let's go ahead and clean up some of these ads. The guy in the front does not have it, but Zalux should be able to clean up uh, at least one of them. He is weak to fire, so I'm not looking for a lot of damage there. William going in with that counterattack. Connor has got the counterattack landing the defense down, which is really nice. And Connor actually dies since his gear is subpar. Now we do have a heal going out. William is doing. His counterattack, Zatlux is going to clean up the last add and go in on Sierra, and he does a ton of damage since he is strong against water, which is really, really good for us. There goes William with that joint attack. Nathalia has her ultimate, and we actually down this no problem, even though we lost our Connor. Chapter 6, Stage 4 is now cleared, and we're moving on. We got a ton of jelly from that fight, so that is really, really good news. 6-4 is down. We are moving on to 6-5. I gotta say, I'm really, really happy I've done a bunch of work off camera, working on the glyphs, working on the gear slowly, of course, as gear does take time to acquire and it does take some resources to level it, but upgrading the glyphs and upgrading their skills has been helping a ton. I am actually moving through chapter 6 a lot easier than chapter 4 and chapter 3. So that is really good news. It's given me hope. Going into chapter six, stage five, you can see the enemies are level 65, and I do have two level 50s. Starting off six five with the same team as always, as we are lacking on options, we have two 60s and two 50s, but the synergy is actually really, really good. Williams got the defense down, of course, and the joint attack. Connor has the much needed buffs and the heals. Nathalia brings all the nukes. And Zatlux is a killing machine, and he cleans up anybody who's left alive. Going into wave two, Connor is going to do the defense down on a single target. Nathalia is going to do her nuke. Of course, William just put up counterattack, so if there's anybody left, which may or may not be left alive, and Zatlux cleans them all up, and just like that, we're on wave three. Going into wave three, we got buffs going up. William is going to do his ultimate, which is awesome. I did work on William off camera between the last video and the video before that, and I actually managed to get his ultimate upgraded all the way, which has been helping a ton. You can see how well you can do with a well-rounded team, a team that synergizes, and they don't need to be overpowered or ascended. 6-6 Six -six is going to open up with some Frost Wolves and a Frost Yeti. We really need to clean this wave up because they do have counterattack on the Wolves, that's something that is not going to be very good for us. So Nathalia should be able to clean that up. And I think we're making some really, really good progress. The team has really good synergy, and they're actually working really well together. Moving into Wave 2, we do have a Frost Giant. We have three Ice Wolves, which is okay. There is no defense down, so we'll see if we can kill all of them. And it looks to be no problem. Moving into the final wave of Chapter 6, Stage 6. Our team is going to do their thing. William is going to come in with the ultimate, hopefully get defense down on all of them. He does land it on three of them, which is very, very good for us. His focus is only at 22%, which is not ideal. I have to get him more focus. Of course, he has to be level 60 as well. <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting to get stuck here somewhere shortly because only having 260s and 250s is not ideal, but the team does synergize incredibly well, and we are making some really, really good progress. There's our victory screen. There's our first time rewards, and we do get a bunch of stuff. I am really liking getting the bonus jelly. I got 11K bonus jelly, which is amazing, and I actually got a level four glyph. I got a level three glyph. Ooh, and we got ourselves a nice little summoning crystal, which is really good. 
and of course a level one glyph as bonus I'm these are starting to accumulate and I'm starting to get quite a bit of them which is going to be very nice leveling and working on the next heroes so 6-6 six, six is down we have 6-7 and 6-8 left so those are the two left we do have some level 65 enemies and I see Holland's there he does have an unhealable debuff so we have to be careful with that let's get right into it do we have a Hollands here? We do not. So we can let the team do their thing, hopefully clean up this wave. And I'm going to keep my eye out on Hollands to make sure that he does not land on healable on our team because that would be very bad. Nothing to see on wave one. It goes down very easy. Wave two does have a Hollands. So I'm going to go ahead and hopefully target him. I'm looking to try to kill him really, really quick so he does not land that unhealable debuff. There goes Nathalia. There is no defense down, and she still manages to kill a couple of them, which is good. There goes the counterattack. Connor coming in with the defense down, and there he goes. Wave 2 is down. We're moving right along. Now, this wave has all the same enemies, so there's no point really targeting. They are all wood, and Nathalia is actually weak to wood, so we'll see what she can do here. You could see a bunch of deflex coming back from her attacks. And Zatlux almost killing one, but that was not enough. There goes the counterattack there. Nathalia actually gets silenced, and she might actually die here. So this is not ideal. Let's see if we can kill the guy in the front. There goes one down. Nathalia going in with her regular ability there. There she goes, killing off two of them, two left. These guys are proving to be quite tanky, but hopefully we should be okay here. There goes the joint attack followed by the ultimate from Zatlux and we actually are down to one and there he goes wave three goes down that was probably the hardest wave out of the whole chapter six and we managed to clear it no problem I hope you're enjoying this play along leave me a comment down below let me know if you want me to dive a little bit deeper into the team that I'm using why I'm using them their gear and that sort of thing I have made a few videos about what team I'm using why I'm using them, their turn order priority, and which skills I'm using in which order. I've also made some arena videos if you're interested in that. I have just recently hit Plat Arena, so I hope those videos help you. I read all the comments in the comment section and I will respond. Chapter 6, Stage 8, last stage on this chapter. We shall see what our team can do. You can see the enemies are getting stronger. They are level 66. And I do have 250s, so that is a 16 level difference there, which is massive. Now, currently, I do have enough to level one more 60, and I'm just not sure who I want to take. I do have Gangalo. I did just fuse Orac, which was really cool. If you have not seen that video and you're not sure how to get yourself an Orac, it's fairly easy. I made a video about that, so I'm not sure if I want to level Orac or Gangalo or Charles. I do have to experiment with them a little bit more as those are new to me. Wave 2 goes down. We are moving on wave 3. And speaking of Gangalo, there he is. So let's see what we can do here. Hopefully, William can land the defense down. And he actually does not land it on Gangalo. So let's go ahead and get some of these ads cleaned up. I don't want to be taking any more damage than we have to. So let's clean the, the ads up. Hopefully Zatlux will. I was not able to click fast enough, but there he goes. He is actually prioritizing the ads, which is good. He does do a bunch of damage to Gangalo. Gangalo does not have defense down. Connor does not land it. William does not land it. So this may prove to be a little bit of a struggle. But Zatlux seems to be doing okay since he is neutral. Gangalo does heal himself. Nathalia is weak, but she does land the defense down from the spell. And she deals some damage as well. There goes William with the joint attack. Zatlux is joining him, which is very, very nice. Gangalo, of course, is going to do his ultimate, which is not going to be very good for our team. But we seem to be doing okay. Hopefully, Connor can come in with some heals before he kills our team. Nathalia is going to put on some buffs on herself, do her thing. She is weak, so we're not expecting much damage from her. And even though she's weak, she's still putting up some really good numbers. Gangalo is down to 6%, which is awesome. William's going to come in with his ultimate, get him down to 4%. Zatlux is going to completely kill him. And just like that, we win that stage. We do get an achievement to clear Chapter 6 so we can continue moving forward. 
taking a very quick look at our rewards, we do get 15k jelly as a first time clear, and we actually get two level four glyphs, which is amazing. Clear Adventure Chapter 6 on Mythic Difficulty. You can see that we get a four star pumpkin and 10k jelly, so that is awesome. I'm really happy about the pumpkin. That'll help me make some more level fives so I can get some more heroes leveled up. Now, the next one is going to be Shopping Experience. Make 20 market purchases, and that should not be very difficult to do. If you've enjoyed the play along, if this was helpful in any way or entertaining in any way, subscribe down below to help my channel grow. Maybe leave me a thumbs up so this video can reach more people. I read all of your comments, and I'll see you in the next video.